Welcome to Wombat Safety Software. This video is going to show you everything you need to know while supervising in the field. Today, we're going to pretend that we are Sam the Supervisor. Sam just got to the site for the day and logs in by going to the website app.wombat.software and enters his email and password. The top of the screen shows his personalized to-do list showing him only things that matter to him. This includes any outstanding forms, either forms that have been assigned to him or forms that he has saved as drafts, any corrective actions or tasks assigned to him, and any of his training or certifications that need to be updated. The bottom of the screen shows the libraries. This includes view history, which shows everything he's completed in Wombat in chronological order, the forms library, which contains all digital forms, such as inspections, hazard reports, and incident reports. The document library, which contains the company's most current policies, procedures, and safe work practices. And my training and certifications, which contains all of his personal training and certifications records. Above the to-do list, you'll see a series of avatars. These are all the people that report to Sam. Selecting an avatar turns that person's profile on as indicated by the blue line. He can then see everything in their to-do list. Sam can drill into any form that is in draft. He sees that William the worker has a FLHA open. He clicks it to review the information. He's not able to make any changes, but can leave a comment if required. The colored circles around the avatars provide a quick status update into each person's training and certifications. Green indicates all of their mandatory trainings are up to date. Yellow indicates a recommended training is missing or expired. Red indicates a mandatory training is missing or expired. You'll also see some of the avatars have numbers in the corner. This shows you how many days the worker has left until something is coming due. A red number indicates days until a mandatory training is coming due. A yellow number indicates days until a recommended training is coming due. Sam selects all of his workers that have training and certifications requiring attention so he can follow up and ensure they are resolved promptly. The most important thing for Sam is getting Wanda's driver's license into the system because he knows she's driving a company vehicle tomorrow. To update it, he can click on it and enter in her new driver's license, expiry date, date obtained, province or state, license number, and attach a photo of the front and back, and then click Create. Alternatively, he could have requested Wanda update this herself, as all training and certifications belonging to an individual can be actioned directly from their own to-do list. Next, Sam wants to review his own to-do list. No one's avatar is active, so he is currently only seeing his own items. Sam has an outstanding form assigned to him. It's a hazard report that was submitted by William. Some forms can have workflows built into them. And in this case, step two of the workflow automatically goes to Sam, William's supervisor. Sam has two choices. He can fill in his section of the form and submit it, or he can send it back to William and add a comment. Sam decides that he's going to send the form back to William and ask him to attach a photo. You'll see it is no longer an item in Sam's to-do list. Let's see what this looks like for William in the field. The hazard report is back on William's to-do list. He can see the comment left by Sam, He uploads a photo and then submits it again. Sam now has the updated hazard report on his to-do list. He selects it and sees the photo William uploaded. He then creates a corrective action and assigns it to Dan, the drywaller. He clicks complete, which sends this form into history and creates a corrective action that will be displayed in Dan's to-do list. 
Sam is about to conduct the team's safety meeting for the day. He'll be reviewing the safe work practice for a concrete cutting saw. This can be found under libraries in the documents library, which contains all of the company's most current policies, procedures, and safe work practices. He clicks the documents library, selects the safe work practices folder, and then selects the concrete cutting saw safe work practice and reviews it with his team. He then goes into the forms library and finds the safety meeting form. He enters the location of the meeting, the date, the name of the person leading the meeting, and enters the topics covered. He then passes the device to the attendees to enter their name and sign that they were present for the meeting. It's later in the day and there is an inspector visiting the site. He asks to see Sam's forklift operator training certificate. All Sam's training records can be found under My Trainings and Certs. He selects it, locates the forklift operator training, and can quickly show that his training is up to date. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.